But seriously, if you have, if you have a loved one in the hospital, like if you, like if there's a child in your family who's in the hospital, just give them a PS1, Inspire the Dragon, and then just tell them everything's going to be all right, and they will be happy little kids. I know I would be. Don't worry, I'm gonna get that treasure chest eventually. Alright then. I like the music here. This is actually a more upbeat version of the song that plays in the credits of all three of the games. Now that's scary. Come on, come get me. Come get me. Come get me. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I love I love doing that. Just makes you feel like a badass little dragon when you do something like that. <laughs> Ow. Alright, those frog enemies are annoying. They can actually make this level quite painful, especially later when there's like 10 of them in one little area. <laughs> and that base on- oh come on. I flamed him! He should be dead. It's not cool. Oh, now I gotta find a chicken. Isn't there a chicken back there, actually? Chicken! Be real nice if these extra lives would also restore my health. I can't go back. I gotta find a chicken. There should be one pretty close, actually. Rusko! Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Yeah, I was actually trying to do a Cajun accent there, but it didn't work out too well. It sounded nothing like a Cajun accent. <laughs> I used to be able to do a lot of voices when I was a kid. Like, I would just imitate voices from pretty much any cartoon I would watch back when I was like 10 years old. I can't exactly do that anymore. <laughs> Probably why my voice is so screwed up now. I used to be so good at doing voices. Alright, now we get to do the hard part of the level with only two hits. This should be fun. There we go. I know it's probably not going to happen, but I would like to see them re-release re -release Spyro with trophies and whatnot. I mean, it's a really easy game, so it would be really easy trophies, but whatever. Oh, come on! Yep, just kill me. I don't care. Alright, there we go. For those of you who don't know, um, Jack and Dax are a precursor legacy. Easiest platinum trophy ever. Oh, shit. Really, game? Really? Why do you hate me, game? Granted, I'm becoming a little bit impatient anyway. I thought it was just that little random house over there. Whatever, hut. Oh, really? Really? Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I hate this level. <laughs> Finally found a level in this game that makes me angry. For the rest of- Really? Just jump, you stupid dragon! <laughs> when the rest of the game makes me happy, this level just pisses me off. There's no other level that really- Really? Come on, game! 
Got to position myself just right so I can find them. There's no other level that, in this game that pisses me off. Don't you dare! Ah. There we go. <laughs> and you just have to be dicks and put this dragon up here at the end of it. Damon. Thanks for releasing <coughs> me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Okay. Alright. Just fly back over here now. I fly, I mean, Clyde, because Spiral only flies selectively. When the dragon gods allow him to do it. <laughs> Alright, jump down here. Nope. Uh-uh. No dragon dinner for you. Oh, come on. Releasing me. <laughs> uh, you missed a frog. Warthog's supposed to hit the frog, but whatever. I just can't do anything without getting interrupted, can I? Come on, Warthog. There you go. You missed one. However. <laughs> Ow. Alrighty. I was already in here. Great, I'm forgetting things already. Remember just last week I saw someone from school at work, I mean, it's been three months since I graduated from high school and I'm already forgetting everyone, so. <laughs> Alright. Bubba! Bubba! Cajun name! I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. And he doesn't sound Slash Cajun at all. Spyro, stamp them out and squish them and squash them! Uh-huh. How about charge them and flame them? We Not really a Cajun name, but still kind of, you know, suffering. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. I, I seriously cannot do a Cajun accent at all. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to all the Cajun people who have been offended by me. Of course, most of you are off probably making Jumble Hour or something instead of watching this kid play video games for the internet. Whoa, 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 Not cool game. Not cool. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Alright. Well, at least we're almost done with this level now. <laughs> and done. <coughs> All right, and guess what level it's time for? There goes that. Dude on that motorcycle again. Alright. J 
chicken. It's a weird ass chicken, dude. Alright. Tree tops. Who's ready? I'm the only one who's ready for this. <laughs> Well, that guy's a little coward and runs away. <laughs> and wakes up the enemies. So yeah, this is a pretty confusing level. There's a lot of alternate alternating pathways. So, um, I prefer to go this way first, though. Because the way to the right actually leads to a chest, and I need this key for it. But I'm still going to continue this Really? Couldn't kill both of them, huh? Alright. Alright, and this level tends to lag the most. Yeah, look at this. Frame rate's gone really bad up here. And I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't lag in the if you're playing the actual disc version. But the problem with the PS3 is that when you're playing a downloaded PS1 game, there's typically more issues that can, that can arise than you would than what happened I can't talk I'm sorry you know you'd get more problems that you wouldn't get if you were playing it off the disc because the thing about playing it off the disc is that <clears throat> the disc uses both the like if you're playing it on a PS3 all PS3s have PS1 chips and emulation built into them so when you're playing it off the disc, it uses both the, the main CPU of the PS1, which is installed on the PS3, and the emulation software, which basically just makes everything on the PS3 mimic, you know, do what it needs to do to run a PS1 game, you know, graphics and whatnot. <laughs> but um, when you're playing, when you're playing a downloaded version of a game, it's it's running specifically off a digital emulation of the PS1 CPU and that's kind of where that slowdown is coming from. Alright, Lyle. Greetings, Sparrow. For an amazing tour of the treetops, <clears throat> don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> huh? 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 Alright. No, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go over here, and then over here, go over here, jump over here and glide. Please make it, I don't want to, whoo I really didn't want to have to do that again, but whatever. Yeah. I made that look easy, and it pretty much is, it's just figuring out that's what you have to do to get up here, that's the hard part. Jed. That was <coughs> quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> Alright then. Now we have to head back over here and do this the slower way one supercharged ramp at a time. Bye. Whoa. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, really? Of all the things I could die, of all the ways I could die in this level, that had to be the way. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, I can't make it from here. Alright. Oh, don't fall again. Alright.
Alrighty then. It's pretty much that half of the level done. But we still have that other pathway to go down. So I've this area up here to get to. <laughs> All right then. Let's see what's in here. Ow! Really? I was hoping my flame would hit both of them, but whatever. And we need to be able to hit that chest up there with a supercharge. So, um, yeah. Wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else up there. Alright. So here we are back at the beginning. Now we just have to go down this path. Take you two out. It's actually possible to hit that thief over there without having to chase it all the way to the end. I've never done it before, though. Or maybe I have done it before. You have to be really fast. I don't remember. Alright. Alrighty then. Isaac. <coughs> Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Yeah. Whew. All right. Gotcha. And that's it. Just ten gems, really. All right. Now we have to make our way back up again. Again, I make this level look easy, but believe me, I really got lost here and lost a lot of lives trying to figure out what to do my first time. Alright. Now another complicated charging segment. Segment. Yeah. Okay, so not as compl complicated as the last one, but still. Alright. And that should be everything. Yep. <clears throat> Alright then. Now to get this chest I kept forgetting about. I have to get the key again, don't I? Really? <sighs> Fun bars. Really? You couldn't just let me keep the key? Evil, evil game. Hey, Boba Fett. <laughs> really need to remember to turn those off from now on. I don't think it's that big of a deal. For, for some games that I'm planning to do, I'm probably going to be signing into another account anyway. Just to show off trophies and whatnot. Not that it's really that important, but, I mean... Sometimes it's just satisfying to see that you earned a trophy thing pop up on screen. Don't tell me I'm missing gems. You... Really? Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's right there. Okay. Alright. 
Don't know how I forgot about that, but whatever. Give me that. Metalhead. Metal! Yeah! Nerds, nerdettes, and gamers! <laughs> Or everyone in, the, in their mother knows what I just referenced. <laughs> Don't hit me. Alright then. to talk about here really I don't know why just kind of ran out of things to talk about already and we still have two more worlds to go Don't hit oh. oh give me a break man <laughs> makes these videos really annoying to edit when people just barge into my room unannounced I can't really blame them. I don't really let people know that I'm recording. I just do it. <laughs> and that tends to be the time when people just decide they want to come in here and bug me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Head down here. You can pull back to make it a bit easier for you to glide to certain areas. Really use that most in this game. I don't think I use it a lot in the other games. Right. Key. I'm gonna go seal the door to darkness. I think I missed an extra life because I could hear it. Oh well, I don't care. I have more than enough lives. And I don't think there's any other level in the game that's really going to kill me as much as treetops would be able to. Turn around here, and we have the boss fight. Siddiqui. This big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply. Freaking idiot, stay out of my room. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so just pretty simple. Hit these poles when they're not electrocuted. And that's how you take out the owl boss. There we go. And that noise you just heard was the enemy that he didn't throw, just spontaneously combusting. Or just dying out of nowhere didn't really combust because combustion means you set on fire. You know what I mean? He just spontaneously went into the afterlife. You know, those things happen. They're um, called heart attacks. Fatal heart attacks. Alright then. 
There we go. Alright, just try not to get hit here, because that wouldn't be fun. Don't want to do this boss again because it's kind of takes the longest. Just because it actually requires you to pay attention to the boss. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised I managed to glide up there my, on my first try, because that's... That right there is one of the most annoying glides ever. I'm guessing it helped that I was able to charge then, then glide into it. Again, something they improve in the later games. This charging and gliding becomes like your best friend. Alright, there we go. Alright, so before we continue this time, I'm going to go save. I don't know why they, cho they chose to keep both the dragons over here at the start of the level, but whatever. <coughs> <coughs> okay then. Now let's just head to the balloonist. <laughs> I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. My probably probably my other favorite world in the game. But anyways, we'll see Dreamweavers in the next video. See you then.